So let me talk about the conditional PDF and conditional mean. So we have uh, two random variables in general, they may not be uh, independent. So you have the join density function. And the conditional density function of x given y is the ratio of the joint density function divided by the marginal density function of y. Of course, f y y will be uh, from the uh, you integrate out x, so this will be on. So here you are integrating out x from the uh, joint density function. So you plug it in here, you get the this ratio has all the properties of a density function, including the area under that is one because you can quickly see if I. Remember, this is a function of x. <coughs> so if I integrate out x here, this is not a function of x. You'll get f y y over f y y, which is 1. And moreover, the joint density function, what this shows is also can be written as the conditional density function of x q on y multiplied by f y y. So that's uh, another way to look at it. So the conditional mean is we use this density function. So the conditional mean of x even y equal to y is <coughs> x multiplied by the density function. But that will be the conditional density function. And of course, we integrate this with respect to x. And uh, the unconditional, <coughs> so it'll, this will turn out to be, in general, this will turn out to be, of course, a function of y, the conditional mean of x given y. Whereas the unconditional mean of uh, like x or y so let me do the uh, unconditional mean of so let me do the unconditional mean of y or uh, uh, <coughs> unconditional mean of x or y will start with unconditional mean of x so that will be x multiplied by fxx dx but in, uh, let me rewrite this. In, uh, so this integration is of course with respect to x, and instead of f x x, <coughs> let me uh, write it uh, in terms of uh, the joint density function. So of course then you integrate out y from the joint density function, x comma y, integrate out y, <coughs> and then uh, x. This will be f x x dx. But in this case, now in the next step, let me replace this joint density function using this uh, conditional formula. So notice that I can write this as uh, integral, <coughs> uh, so two integrals, then I have x, f x q one y, x q one y, multiplied by f y y, uh, dy and suppose I put dx here then notice that and uh, suppose I flip the integration order I do the x integration first and y integration so if you look at this this is exactly same as this right? this is the conditional mean of x so this is your phi y conditional mean of x given y so then what we are doing is expected value of the conditional mean with respect to y. So this whole integral is now <coughs> expected value of uh, phi y. Right? So in other words, we can write this as expected value of x can be written as expected value of phi y. Of course, notice that this expectation is with respect to y. And phi y is what? If you write it, phi y is this. If you write it as it's going to be so this is with respect to y, this is conditional mean of y you want to, x you want y. And so that you can also write it as expected value, expected value of x you want y equal to y. So of course this expectation is with respect to y and this expectation is with respect to x. So bottom line is expected value of x can be or this way expected value of expected value of x q one y is the same as expected value of x so the conditional mean once you <coughs> average and take out the conditional you get the unconditional mean of the random variable so that's the relation between the two